some spiritual experiences that reach far beyond our ability to humanly comprehend. There are things that may not have words. There are moments where words are not needed. And when you put it all together, that truly is the shock and awe of the totality of God. On December 30th, 2019, I was inspired to go live on my website and channel Archangel Gabriel. Not easy, it was new for me. And my website broke and Spirit said to go live on Facebook, meaning reaching everyone. I had never channeled an Archangel before. I was nervous. It was like hosting a dinner for an elaborate uh, member of royalty or someone of devout power and truth. And I held space live in front of many, many people who watched me channel a presence that did not show up female but showed up very masculine to remind us that in 2020, many will die. But here is what our message is. Some time has passed, and it is now September 2021. For the last few weeks, Spirit has been pushing me in the same way as Spirit did with Archangel Gabriel. Except this time, it is Archangel Michael that has a message. Clearly, Spirit is present at a time when Spirit is needed most. And it is important and imperative that we receive these messages as they are our chance of survival. And not survival because the world is ending, but survival because we came here to thrive in our light and in our love and in our life. And for most of us, our realities are anything but those reasons why we came here. I invite you to join me for an event that I have decided to do (laughs) with and for spirit because of you. Monday, September 20th, 2021, 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Spirit and I will be hosting a sacred space for healing alignment and massive transformation and I say that not for me but because that is what spirit is calling it it is the harvest full moon it is a time of releasing of recharging but this one is a little different this one is a little closer to home this one is a little more necessary a little more timely and a little more deliberate. Spirit says, when was the last time you approached healing with gratitude and excitement? And my response was, never. I don't remember the last time I approached healing with excitement and gratitude. I've hoped this would be the case, but then Spirit said, my dearest, my dearest one, Hope turns into worry very quickly when fear is present. So hope without fear is not hope at all. And Monday we roll into a very special, very timely divine message about divine order, about trust, about purging, and about allowing the collective which includes us. There will be a live channeling from Archangel Michael with Archangel Michael. There will be a fire ceremony following. And there will be a lot of transactions of energy. A lot of letting go and a lot of receiving. Let go, let spirit. We hear this, we know this. And yet we do not get out of the way. 
As you can see, one of the most interesting parts of this written channeling that I'm sharing with you now is where Spirit says this is a period of removal and restoration. Removal. We are working for you, not against you. And restoration, because we can. I will see you Monday, September 20th, for the next unveiling of Spirit's clarity, presence, and message to us. And so it is.